Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition, where we just had a good talk with Solus, and now we're gonna see all the stuff Dorian has to say. Why is he running around half, like, okay, not half naked, but it's gotta be cold. The Inquisition supports free mages. What's next? Elves running Halamshiral? Cows milking farmers? I know. I'll think of something. Give me time. I'm sure I'll surprise you. <laughs> I suspect that's untrue. Unless you strip yourself naked and allow the Chantry to flog you into repentance. Uh, no thank you. That would surprise me. I do wonder if you've considered what the support of yours will do. For mages in general, I mean. Not really. The Inquisition is seen as an authority. You've given southern mages license to, well, be like mages back home. So long as they're like you. I don't think that would get me very far. Uh. So what? They all turn into blood mages, worship dragons, and then take over? <laughs> well, at first. But you'd be a fool not to see where this could lead. Thing is, the Imperium was once just like the sun. Templars, proper circles, all that rot. Then it changed by inches. Really? Not that this is reason to oppress us. Still, my homeland should be a cautionary tale, not a source of inspiration. I see. So much so. It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. Beyond my being a mage from Davinta, you mean? Beyond that, yes. And beyond my being so charming and well <laughs> which is obvious to anyone. Uh, of course. I'm well aware of your finer qualities. <laughs> Believe me. Of course you are. You're a discerning and intelligent woman, after all. <laughs> what was I talking about? Ah, yes, me. <laughs> I am the scion of House Parvis, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Uh huh. Naturally, I despised it all. The yep. lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. That's Tevinta in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. Okay. I think sometimes it's just a flirting line, so hopefully that doesn't get me into trouble, but... You know, just... <laughs> he's a flirty guy. <laughs> I think, though, he doesn't bat for my team, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, I do, I, I have my window cracked a little bit, so I do apologize if there's any noises. Um, hopefully there isn't, I'll have to check. Um, but it's so nice outside, I thought I'd let some air in. <laughs> Why would your family be upset with your choices? Because I rejected their idyllic plan. If they had their way, by now I'd be married to some unlucky girl from a powerful family. Oh boy. We'd live in luxurious despair, despising each other as I waited to take my father's place in the magisterium. Yee. I declined the honor, and thus it's best I'm far from home. I see. Less of an embarrassment that way, you see? Uh-huh. What did you mean by generations of careful breeding? The great families of Devinta don't have children. They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother Yee. was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvis the envy of the Imperium. They got me. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. I see. I'm getting the impression that you don't care much for your homeland. Yep. On the contrary, I care for my homeland a great deal. Ah. There's so much potential. He doesn't like the people. Sadly, we squander it. We refuse to acknowledge how far we've fallen because pretending is easier. We pretend the Canari can be beaten. We pretend that we're superior to everyone, even our own people. Not everyone feels that way. I don't. Sadly, we're the minority. It just seems... So much of what you say about the Imperium is entirely negative. It might sound that way. For all our faults, my people have many virtues. We are laden with history and culture. Tevinta is where Thedas truly began, remember? 
We treasure our past and preserve it. You can walk down a side street and find nothing built during the modern ages. And despite appearances, we care deeply about everything. We have no reserve, not in war and not in love. If I truly believed my homeland was beyond all hope, I wouldn't miss it so much. Hmm. Why remain with the Inquisition? Why not go back to Tevinter? <laughs> I'm not exactly welcome back home. <laughs> not that it matters. I'm quite accustomed to being a pariah. It adds to my charm. <laughs> I can do more for Tevinter here. If the Venatori succeed, it'll set my homeland back a thousand years. I'm sure some Magisters would disagree. But that's why we kill them. Indeed. <laughs> I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. <laughs> I'd like to ask you about Tevinter. Ah, yes. Everyone outside the Imperium always seems quite fascinated by it. Probably why they come up with so many ridiculous tales. Flying cows over Minlathus. That's <laughs> madness. All right, that one's actually true, but the cows didn't have... <laughs> I knew it! I digress. Anything in particular you wanted to know? Um... It seems strange that an entire empire would be ruled by mages. I find it strange that your mages don't rule anything at all. <laughs> Actually, the fiction in the Imperium is that mages don't rule. The Magisterium rules. That magisters are all mages is considered a convenient technicality. Ah. What is the Magisterium, exactly? The upper house of the Imperial Senate. And the only part worth having a seat on. Those seats are split among the circles of Magi, the Chantry, and the Major families. All Majors now. Wow. It's odd that outside the Imperium, you use Magister like it applies to every Tevinter Mage. If you're not a Magister, then what are you called? No special title. I'm an Altus, which is almost as good as a Magister. Depending on who you ask. Mm. I've never heard of an Altus. Mm -hmm. Upper class. Those families oh. who trace descent from the Dreamers, the first prophets of the old gods. Oh. If you're a mage and you're not Altus, then you're later. Lower class. If you're not a mage at all, you're Soperati. That's everyone else. <laughs> we do love our fancy words. Sounds like it. I thought the Archon ruled over the Imperium. Well, yes. Technically, he can overrule laws passed by the Magisterium, but that never happens. Even so, he gets to appoint new Magisters, which means all the families buy madly for his favor. Thus, the Archon gets invited to all the parties. The truest path to Tevinter influence, let me tell you. The parties? If it's a fiction, that means mages do rule, then. Yes and no. Let me put it this way. Mages do rule, but not all mages are equal. If you're not from the right family, chances are you don't rule anything. Maybe you're even a slave. The idea that anyone could be a mage, however, keeps the masses placated. Hmm. Can anyone be a mage? Technically. The potential runs mostly in bloodlines, but it's been known to happen. More importantly, commoners believe it can. Tevinter legend is chock full of mage heroes from humble origins. So they hold out hope. Someday my son or my son's son will be a mage. Someday. Poor sods don't realize that means he'll be a quaestor at the arse end of the hundred pillars. At best. Being a quaestor isn't a good thing. I imagine the average non-mage likes to think so. Counting numbers and shuffling papers all day is better than many occupations after all. If you're a second-class citizen among a pack of piranha, however, your outlook changes. Ah. Let me ask you something else. Of course. Of course. Uh... There's an Imperial Chantry, isn't there? With its own divine. You oh, yeah. You're not supposed to talk about the Black Divine, are you? I'm an elf. If you mention him outside the Imperium, people make that face. Like you're urinating in public. <laughs> but yes. We do have the Chantry, or a version of it. Night and day comparing it to yours. How so? 
Is the Imperial Chantry so different from ours? Not in theory. The main difference is in the whole magic is meant to serve man, not rule over him business. Back home, ruling the unwashed masses is serving them. For the good of the Imperium. Perhaps it started with good intentions, but these days it's academic. The circles are in command. Hmm. There are circles of magi in the Imperium. We don't have dismal little mage prisons, if that's what you mean. They're academies, prestigious ones. Yeah, that's what we, we need. We have Templars as well, but they don't cancel spells or whatever your Templars do. They're soldiers. They watch for abuse of magic, yes, but only those who are weak or who fall out of favor get dealt with. Yikes. Mostly they enforce the Magisterium's edicts. The Chantry smiles and nods from the sidelines. I see. <laughs> do you really call him the Black Divine? <laughs> we don't call him that, oh no. In the Imperium, he's the true divine. The woman sitting on the Sunburst throne is some backwater pretender. It all stems from a disagreement over Andraste. Marvelous, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Why would Religion, eh? Over Andraste? It's not my field of expertise, but the Imperium believes Andraste was a mortal woman, a maid. Down south, they say, no, she's the bride of the maker, ascended to his side, divine provenance, a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I feel better believing Andreste was one of us. Makes executing her less damning, you see. Ah, so right, because they did execute divine, her. The south declared war, and we've been feuding cousins ever since. I knew he was a boy, but I don't know why it's, it's a big deal. So, the imperial divine is always a man. All the better to distinguish him from that other one, yes. Ah. I think there aren't a number of female magisters who bristle at that. Why can't they be divine after all? Same reason you never see a man on the sunburst throne. Because that's how it's always been done. Excellent reasoning. Indeed. Do you consider yourself Andrastian? Ah. The big question. It might surprise you that I do consider myself Andrastian. I simply do not believe in the Chantry. That makes sense. It is a relic, whether back home or here in the South. Something from a bygone age desperately clinging to relevance. It's not an opinion that makes me popular. I do agree with you, though. I share your opinion, actually. That's not surprising, considering what the Inquisition represents. I'll say this. I may not believe in the Chantry, but I believe in you. In me. Thank that you. That the Maker sent you, whether through Andraste or fate. Cassandra is not wrong. You are what we needed most at the moment we needed it. Hmm. That's what they will say in ages to come. I'm not sure about that oh, myself. He slightly approves. Doubt is good. I like doubt. It will keep you sane. Ah. Me? I've seen too much to believe I know everything. The world is bigger than I. Even bigger than you. It laughs at all the things we think we know. The Maker doesn't need me to believe. But I do. The thought of no one at all watching out for us is too frightening. I do agree with that. Let me ask you something else. So many questions. I know. Uh, we'll get to those I'm hard questions the last. Imperium would be a useful ally. I think you'd be more concerned whether or not they'd support the Venatori. They won't. At least, not officially. They'll disavow all knowledge of dangerous cultists. Secretly, many Magisters will rejoice at the idea. And if the South falls to chaos in the meantime, all the better. It would be in the Imperium's best interest to help. Surely it could use allies. I think the Imperium gave up on the idea of allies a long time ago. Uh, We've been fighting the Kunari for what? 200 years off and on? It's a point of pride that we go it alone. They'll sneer at the South behind their silk handkerchiefs and say, You've had it easy for far too long. Let's not forget that the Inquisition seems to be an arm of the Orlesian Chantry. Anathema so far as they're concerned. Uh, they don't like us. We're not part of the Chantry. The Chantry opposed the Inquisition's formation. You think that matters? Don't be silly. The Herald of Andraste. 
Your uh, very title smacks of the southern chantry. You may as well be a heathen. I think they're far more frightened what you'll do if you succeed. Uh, okay. Just how often is blood magic used there? Oh, not at all. Not at all? That's what any magister would tell you. <laughs> no. I'd be convincingly offended by the notion, too. Of course, what people call blood magic here... I was wondering... What consider blood magic are two different things. What's considered actual blood magic in Tevinta? Blood magic isn't inherently dangerous. Using your own blood or that of a willing participant... Oh. It's the much more powerful that way. What's permitted only gets you so much power. And what if you need more? You always need more. That's where we get into sacrifices and demon summoning. None of that is done. Not officially. Yeah. Behind closed doors, it's a different story. Real blood magic can give you an edge. A leg up against your opponents. It's safe to assume that any mage of rank does it. The rest are quietly shut out of power, to put it bluntly. Ah. Huh. I think using your own blood wouldn't be bad. I mean, it's like a seal, you know? You'd think the Templars would object. I imagine they did. Once, their investigations might have been sincere. Then their balls were cut off. <laughs> Too inconvenient. Gee. Nowadays, only the friendless are accused. Most of them probably innocent. There must be some mages who oppose this. Of course. I do. And I'm not entirely alone. Occasionally, there'll be a magister who makes noise. And then the reform talk begins. All very patriotic. Meanwhile, that magister will be quietly shunned. Chances mm -hmm. are, surprise, it's learned he was a Maleficar all along. Most learn to keep quiet. Me? <laughs> I enjoy the allure of pariah living. Oh, you, j you, man. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anyone who talks about the Imperium mentions slavery. It's the center of the slave trade. Ah, that is true. And did you have slaves? Not personally, but my family does and treats them well. Honestly, I never thought much about it until I came south. Hmm. Back home, it's... how it is. Slaves are everywhere. You don't question it. Not even certain many slaves do. Well, we don't have slaves in the south. In the south, you have alienages. Yeah. Slums, both human and elven. The desperate have no They're way out. They're pretty much slaves. Back home, a poor man can sell himself. As a slave, he could have a position of respect, comfort, and could even support a family. Wow. Now, some slaves are treated poorly, it's true. But do you honestly think inescapable poverty is better? I suppose not. No. I don't know what it's like to be a slave, true. I never thought about it until I saw how different it was here. But I suspect you don't know either. Nor should you believe that every tale of Tevinter excess is the norm. That's all I wanted to know. I will not assume that. Fair enough. Have you gone to see Alexius yet? He's in the cell. Oh, is he in my basement? Yet, no. I saw him before they locked him up. He looked despondent broken. Not the man I remember, nor the one I want to. I suppose the Inquisition will judge him eventually. I wonder if there's any chance they'll show him mercy. He hardly deserves it, but for Felix's sake. I can't help hoping there's something left of the man I once knew. Hmm. I wonder if we will judge him. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see if Sarah has anything new to say. Something like that. Yeah. I love He'll this song. Well, oh, that's mages all over. So many robes. I bet all of Ferelden lost their curtains. I'll just be the other side of Haven, just in case. You don't like mages? Do you have a problem with our new allies, with mages? No problem with mages. I mean, you know some that are all right. My problem is magic. If mages sat on their hands, everything would be fine. I mean, yay, freedom. Great for them. 
<laughs> Over there. Away from me. <laughs> I can still do that? Yikes. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Again, with your people? Right, which ones? <laughs> with your people? Uh... Dorian! What about Dorian? <laughs> He's fun. Could lose a bit more to Vinter. Could lose a bit more to Vinter? She's singing a cappella right now. Uh, Blackwall. Any thoughts about Warden Blackwall? He's too good, right? I'd like to see him out of that uniform. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> what? Iron Bull? Thoughts on Iron Bull. <laughs> it makes me wonder about things. <laughs> what? And what do that women look like? What? What? What's your opinion of Vivienne? She's a bitch, but she knows. She better. I thought I already asked about everybody. Anything to say about Varric? Varric? Too clever. Always saying something, but never saying it straight. I already asked about everybody. We'll talk later. Good, right? I'll be here. I think she greatly disapproved of uh, my choice. What about you, Varric? The Mage Rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit, that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting yeah. people and growing out of them, that's bad. I thought you Finding more that. of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. I know. I'd like to keep hoping it's a coincidence, if you don't mind. I need to be able to sleep at night. Honestly, I, I think I'll give up sleeping for the foreseeable future. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But th that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? Uh... Have a party. <laughs> That's a good point. We should celebrate. A banquet. Or something like a banquet. A word to Josephine, and I bet she could arrange anything. <laughs> Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take next a moment hour. to enjoy it. Thank you, Varric. If the world's about to end... I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Getting all our chit-chatting then. When will you be able to get us the crafting supplies we need? When they're ready. Piss off. Piss off! Can I help you with something? No, I was uh, actually just trying to clip this table. Oh, well. Make a go with you. Nope, nothing. If you find anything we need, let me know. It seems Blackwall knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us. Even if he was not what I expected. What did you expect? He seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. Do you like him? As for the other Wardens, I suppose we will have to keep looking. Should I say that? In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. I thought she would. Anything I should know? Altegan has returned to Redcliffe Castle, 
and resumed his duties as lord. Oh, so when I go the back, it'll be different. returning, slowly but surely. Unfortunately, our show of support for the mages has angered many. Ah. Uh. I'll leave you to your work. I should probably go talk to uh, Iron Bull and Cullen and Cassandra. Woo! Oh, I should try and sell some stuff, too. So... Uh... No, I wore a helmet. No, nope, we're selling that. I know he could eventually wear it, but I'm not interested. Ah. Ooh, cool. Oh. Interesting. sell that one and we'll keep these other two Jeez Louise I have no idea if any of these are gonna be useful. Too many breaches, what does that mean? I don't understand. Braid of rank. Ugh. 82 out of 90. That sucks. Mother Giselle. I run a business, not a charity. You sound like a jerk. When I talk to you, you sound fine, but when you're talking to other people, you sound like a jerk. I don't notice a lot of mages running around. Nice work at Redcliffe. I could help the mages learn to work with Inquisition soldiers if you like. Yeah. <clears throat> not that the chief has any apostates in the group. <laughs> Uh, which one did I ask before? Uh, I think. Can we talk about the bull's charges? Certain I tell. What can I tell you? We already did that one, right? Have you had any other interesting jobs? I had one noble whose rival had been told by a fortune teller that her death would come on feathered wings. The noble sent us after the rival. Not assassination, legal and everything, but we had to wear feathers. What? We sewed them into shirts over our armor. You should have seen the chief all feathered up like the cock of the walk. What? Ended up retreating after all that. The rival choked to death a year later on a chicken bone. Uh, <laughs> we'll tell later. Uh, that's hilarious. So, that Tevinter guy sent you into the future? Uh. Eh, I'll protect you. <laughs> what? Weird, right? Every time I think I understand magic, the rules change. Oh good, he slightly approves. I he know, greatly right? disagreed earlier. If I were a mage, I'd just throw fire at people. That's honest. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. I hope our new friends have what it takes to close the breach. Damn thing gives me a headache just looking at it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, we've got Blackwell over here. Blackwall. You, know, you actually are a good rider on the uh there was never going to be an easy answer to the mage dilemma no what you did for the mages took courage you gave them a chance he approves everyone deserves one i have to ask what was i like in that dark future you saw i was wonder if anyone was gonna ask should i tell him the truth he was heroic. 
You fought with honor and died a hero. You did the wardens proud. Then I was worth something in the end. Thank you. You're welcome. He died a hero. He was angry, but he died a hero. What do you think of the Inquisition? You already know what I think of your forces. I'm not sure what else there is to say. Okay. Uh... You must have some feelings about our friends. Sarah doesn't know who she is or what she wants. And doesn't even care. Eh. I was wondering what he thought we about Sarah. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. Why does it have to sound like that? Cassandra and then Cullen. I think Cassandra disapproved, but not greatly disapproved. Who is this? Oh. And what are we supposed to do exactly? What you always do, complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We want better quarters. We want uh, the Templars uh, kept at a distance. You gonna be and some respect. No, to... this is not the circle. You mages are our allies, not our wards. Act like it. Mm. How are we supposed to deal with it? <laughs> It's true, man. Grow up. I'm sorry, Cassandra. This never ends, evidently. Uh... Is there an issue with the mages? Can I help? The mages are here as equals. They need to get used to what that means. Yeah. It is your doing, after all. You created this alliance. Well, I hope it works. What other choice do we have? Oh. oh, I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? <laughs> Her expression. I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. Thank you. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. Should I be, like, flirty? Does that work on girls? You got us here. We wouldn't be here at all if you hadn't stood up against the Chantry. You're being kind. No. You're discounting your role in this. Indeed. Let's close the breach. Then we can say how successful I was. Her eyebrows are so high. Interesting. Your armor is changing colors, I think. Maybe it's just the angle. Greeting. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Greetings. I hope she still likes me. I like Cassandra. She's a, she's, a, she's a good woman. The mages are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. Uh... I know you're worried about having the mages here. Give them a chance to prove themselves. I'm not questioning their ability or their intentions, but we cannot ignore the risk. I agree. I will not endanger the alliance you've created. We need their help. Any precautions taken will be to ensure the safety of our people. And the mages themselves. Nothing more. That would be wise. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? Um, uh, the, the... Nope, never mind. I should let you get back to work. Okay, so we've talked to everybody now. So, right? Oh, no, we gotta talk to the people in the Chantry itself. Ooh, hopefully this is working. Because I don't want to have to redo it. So, I noticed you crept back to the tent rather <gasps> late last night. <gasps> and if I did... Oh, what? I hope for your sake you weren't sniffing around after that iron bull. I simply wanted to thank him for having his healer give such good advice. We've saved the <laughs> thanks to him. That late? <laughs> and that's why you're walking so funny. <gasps> I thanked him a few times. <laughs> then later, he thanked me back. Oh it was a gosh. very grateful night all around. <laughs> oh, you're terrible. You are! You Chantry sister. Look at you. 
getting it on. <laughs> it was a very grateful night all around. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. What do you think about all this, Vivian? If Fiona and her malcontents are joining oh, wow. us as allies, we need to be prepared. Abominations are she inevitable. She greatly disapproves. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. Uh, good idea. The last thing we need are abominations running amok. I knew you would have a proper grasp of the situation. I'll have a word with Cullen. We are reliant on his people, absolutely. There has never been a greater threat to mages than the breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. When you say mages are a danger, are you counting yourself? Of course I am, my dear. Every mage who joins the cause is taking a calculated risk, whether they know it or not. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. Yeah, the Dalish don't have Templars. The Dalish get along just fine without Templars or Circle Towers. As I understand it, the Elves limit their risk by refusing to have more than three mages in a clan. Oh, do we? Tell me, what becomes of the Dalish youngster who is not appointed first or second? If a clan can't raise the mage, they're sent to another that's in need of a first or second. And if there are no clans in need of a new apprentice? For those who value survival, sentimentality is not an option. Tell me something. You said once that you wanted to change things. What future would you build for mages? I wonder, I don't... We don't need the circle back. They don't need to be, comp like, they need to have schools, though, but I don't see why they can't be, f I mean, they need to have rules and stuff, but they need to be able to govern themselves. But maybe we should have mages in the Chantry. Mages shouldn't be kept out of the Chantry. Who knows the dangers of magic better than a mage? A curious idea. Such twists and turns She greatly approves. Take. Oh, good. It's something to consider, my dear. Okay, good. She doesn't hate me. Excellent. Hopefully we're kind of balanced a little bit. Uh, just a little bit at least. Um, then should we see what Mother Giselle? The Inquisition doing? appreciates your assistance in this matter, Lady Corbin. Oh right. And my miners appreciate your business. I understand you were instrumental in garnering the assistance of the rebel mages. It is well done. And I pray this Inquisition fares better than the Chantry in its handling of magic. Me too. Uh, we'll do our best. We will try. In some ways, Andraste had the simpler task. Magic should serve man, and not rule over him. That tells us what should be, but it does not tell us how to get there. So many times the methods of men have undone the spirit of their goal. Hmm. Once you have sealed the breach, we shall see whether this Inquisition is truer to the Tantry, or its own namesake. Can you tell me how our people are doing? What would you like to know? Uh, we already know. Farewell. Make her go with you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna call this here, um, and then... I think something I did made this conversation not go all the way through, but we'll, I'll do it really quick because we saw it before. Um, but thank you guys for joining me. I will see you momentarily.